Hi everybody, welcome back to another Let's Play video. Sorry for it being so long since I've made one of these, but you know, uh, with all the frustrations on my main account waiting for the Industrial Age release, uh, I haven't been playing a whole lot on this, and also, now that the Industrial Age is out, I find myself playing quite a bit on my main account, but I'm not going to neglect this too much. Um, I did read all your comments uh, on the previous videos, so I wanted to go over a couple of things here. First off, somebody was asking like what metal range is best to stay in in the medieval age or as you're farming and everything and I've pretty much been staying around 600 metals the whole time I've had this account. A little bit lower here and there and I try not to get above 650 just because I find that I get attacked a lot less when I'm around this than when I'm higher. And I'm still finding plenty of villages and bases that have a lot of resources. Um, so I've been staying right around here. So this is the base I'm using right now. Again, we're still in the medieval age. However, we've made a lot of progress since probably the last video. I have been able to uh, upgrade one of my generals all the way to level 5, which is the max. And Alexander is level 4. So once Alexander gets to 5, the generals will be maxed. I did some of my war tactics, except for the barrage, which is next. Um, as far as the troops, everybody's maxed, except the wall miner, who is irrelevant. And uh, killing some animals while I talk here. I've got some of my archer towers up to level 6, which is the max. I still have a couple that are level 5. Um, my three catapults that I have now are all level 3, so they're maxed. Castle's ready to go, it's maxed. Um, the ballista towers... Uh, are all maxed. So really I've got a few towers left to do and uh, not much else. In the library uh, I've got a lot of my research done, the important ones. Everything else costs too much for right now. Um, increase the duration of sabotage and protect by 20%. So this is a very good one. So I guess I'll go ahead and start this now. Battle Tactics Chapter 1. Alright, four hours so we're gonna get that going. Mercenary camp, it's upgraded from the last time, so I can now hold four groups of mercenaries, which is awesome. And I've got the War Elephants and the Templar Knights. Uh, I also upgraded my storehouse, so I can hold 12 now of all the different trade goods. Um, my temple, I've got the Animal Blessing, which is really nice. Uh, everything's going pretty well. I, uh, actually, I guess I don't really need to do that. I'm capped out on my stuff. Cancel. So I'll do an attack live now and try to use some of these mercenaries and then I can make some more because I've got a ton of trade goods. So we'll try and find some resources. So you can see the first base I find has 138,000 food and 52,000 gold. And that pretty much means I'm going to give it a shot for sure. So we're going to drop all of our knights first and our mercenaries and our general along with a few of our archer troops that kill the enemy infantry. And we're going to drop a protect right there. And now it's time to drop in behind all of our the rest of our soldiers and our little loot stealer horse guys. And watch them go to work. So whenever I'm fighting the Japanese, I like to rally everybody to kill the town center as soon as possible because it shoots. And that can be super irritating because your troops don't prioritize that as like a target to attack. So it'll just pretty much wreck everything. So I'm dropping the rest of my war tactics, my first aid, and my protect just to make sure I get all the loot in this raid. He did have a defending level 3 general, which is kind of annoying. Hopefully at some point my troops will turn over and target that. And even though his base setup isn't very good for protecting the town center, it is annoying to to get 100% on because of all the different compartments. And he has his you know really strong uh, cannon towers or ballista towers behind walls in their own little pockets. So you know I, I gotta say it's not a bad setup. But I'm mostly just concerned about getting all the resources, so nothing else is really that relevant. I'm going to rally everybody over to get this farm. Hopefully my general can clean up all the stuff over there. 
we definitely don't want anyone else walking over to those ballista towers because they're going to get killed. So yeah, we got pretty much all the loot on this, which is awesome. That's mostly the goal. The only thing we have left is three farms, which I think those are next to go. So I mean, I really think it's just about time for me to save up some gold and advance to the gunpowder age. I know that that upgrade takes a few days, so during that time I'll try and save up enough gold and food to be prepared for the next one. And maybe finish up those towers and the walls. I guess there's really no rush. I could just go ahead and max absolutely everything at Medieval before I improve. So maybe I'll do that. Leave me a, leave me a comment and let me know what you think and like what you would prefer to see. Okay, looks like I now need some more trade goods. It's crazy, when you don't attack that much, uh, you just run out of diamonds. So I'm going to have to play a little bit more on this account today, get some more diamonds, some more five-star attacks. But for now, we'll harvest the fruit trees, keep everybody busy. I gotta say, it's like such a, a relief to be playing on this account at this metal range where you don't get attacked the second you log off by a bunch of tanks. It's uh, so so hard to handle <laughs> on the main account. What do I got here? All right, got some crowns. Okay, so yeah, this is the uh, this is the state right now of the account. Doing pretty good through the medieval age. <clears throat> I gotta retrain the war tactics, make sure I fill up my army again. There we go. Nice little mixture of troops. And yeah, we're pretty much ready for the next battle in a few minutes. So, anyway, guys, if you have any questions or anything you want me to do specifically, just leave it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I'll try to get some more frequent videos on this account. I definitely want to max out Medieval and then get up to the Gunpowder Age and maybe redo my base at that point. So anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend, and I'll be back tomorrow.